start class. <laughs> we'll make sure that we finish on time. <laughs> no, because which is important because we have to have a busy schedule. Okay. Jai Radhamadamba Jai Punjabi.
today from verse number 6 of the Shikshashtakam. So what we'll do, I think it's on the screen. Do we have the translation on the screen? Because what we'll do is we'll chant... Okay, so we'll chant verse number 6 together. And then from there we will have some discussion on this particular verse. Okay. Okay, good. So just say it together. Nayanam Garada Shrudaraya Vadanam Gadgada Gudaya Gira Pulake Nishitam Vapukada Tavagranam Agrahane Bhavishyati Okay, so I'll read the translation. The particular translation we're reading from is from the um, CC Antiolita chapter number 20, text number, let's see, text number 36. Okay, my dear Lord, when will my eyes be beautified by filling with tears that constantly glide down as I chant your holy name? Or will my voice falter and all the hairs on my body stand erect in transcendental happiness as I chant your holy name. La città di Cerità, mi tanti a Lila, capitolo 20, verso 36. Mio caro Signore, quando i miei occhi saranno decorati da uh, uh, lacrime che uh, costantemente scorrono mentre canto il tuo santo nome, quando la mia voce si interromperà e quando i peli del mio corpo si rizzeranno in una felicità trascendentale mentre canto il tuo santo nome, Okay, we'll just say Mangala Char and then we'll begin. Omagyana Tamarandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshu Militam Yena, Tazmai Shri Guravena Maha, Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam, Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam, Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha, Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tuam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandhu Jagatpate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vishabhanu Sutta Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupaturubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Bhavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gorabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So this is the sixth verse of the Chaitanya Charit um, of the Shikshashtakam. <laughs> Lord Chaitanya is speaking to Ramananda Roy and Srub Damada. <laughs> So in the previous verse, the principle or the stage of, ba of bhakti that was being um, indicated was called ashakti. And that was a stage of spiritual attachment. Yes. So I was saying that the previous state, um, previous verse was a shakti, which meant spiritual attachment. And now it has moved up a stage. So from spiritual attachment, now Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is expressing spiritual emotion. Emotion is a great science. In fact, everyone 
is mostly making decisions based upon emotion. <laughs> In fact, most of the advertising and marketing is trying to tap into someone's emotion. Infatti tutte le pubblicità eh, nei, nelle strade, nei, nei supermercati cercano di stimolare in noi delle emozioni. And we know from scripture that there is thinking, feeling and willing. E noi sappiamo dalle scritture che c'è il pensare, eh, il volere, e il sentire e il volere. Of the three, feeling is the most powerful. Dei tre il sentire è il più potente. But here, Lord Chaitanya is expressing original emotions. So this stage of spiritual life represented by this verse of the Shikshashnikam is the stage called Bhava Bhakti. Quindi lo stadio ora rappresentato, come lo stadio del nostro percorso spirituale che rappresenta questo verso è quello della Bhava Bhakti. And this Bhava Bhakti is so powerful that it actually causes the body to transform in various ways. Some of those bodily transformations include paralysis, tears, as is explained here. Le lacrime, come è in verso. Even change of the color of the body. Anche del del corpo. Fainting. E svenimenti. Trembling. Tremori. So many qualities. E molte altre cose. But this Bhava stage is also very special. Ma di Bhava è anche molto because the actual goal of sadhana bhakti is Bhava bhakti. Our sadhana is like a our sadhana is like a bank account. Our sadhana is like a bank account. I was listening to something this morning and it was and the, the class was making a point about the um, deposits and the withdrawals from the bank account. I mention that because sometimes when we read about these very high stages, we may think, how is it possible to get there? Spesso quando parliamo di questi stati così elevati possiamo pensare come sia possibile di raggiungerli. But we should remember that a devotee is like a good investor. Ma noi dobbiamo ricordarci che un devoto è come un bravo investitore. What we can take away from so many of the classes on the Shikshashtakam. Cosa possiamo portarci via con noi da tutte queste classi sullo Shikshashtakam? Is the idea of making very wise investments in our spiritual bank account. E l'idea di fare un investimento molto saggio nel nostro conto in banca emozionale. A certain degree of sukriti or spiritual credit allows one to come in the association of devotees. Un certo grado di crediti spirituali sukriti ci permettono di entrare in contatto con l'associazione dei devoti. When that credit builds up, it allows one to take proper um, advantage of such association. E quando questo credito aumenta, ci permette di ottenere veramente un vantaggio da questa associazione. When it builds up even more, then one becomes very serious about the process of devotion. Quando aumenta sempre di più, la persona diventa sempre più seria riguardo al suo percorso spirituale. Those credits affect one's strength of spiritual intelligence. Questi crediti influenzano la propria responsabilità, maturità. So sometimes, so sometimes when we feel is it the spiritual life it seems so esoteric or it seems like so far away. Certe volte la vita spirituale sembra così lontana, così esoterica. We can remember that essentially the science is one of building up our spiritual credits again. Ma in realtà tutta la scienza spirituale consta nel sommare tutti questi crediti spirituali. And all the advice in the, our teachings is really saying 
be careful to increase the deposit in your bank account. E tutti gli insegnamenti che ci danno nella vita spirituale eh, consistono fondamentalmente nell'incrementare sempre i crediti spirituali nel nostro conto in banca. And let us avoid those things which cause us to get into debt. <laughs> e di evitare tutte quelle cose che invece riducono, eh, ci portano debiti nel nostro conto spirituale. So this Bhava Bhakti is incredible. Quindi questa Bhava Bhakti è incredibile. It cannot be achieved by any other kind of Vedic process like Jnana or Yoga. It depends on Krishna's mercy. So therefore we notice in the mood of this prayer that there is this mood of longing. When will my eyes be beautified by filling with tears that constantly glide down as I chant your holy name? Everything is understood by its qualities. So some of the qualities at the stage of Bhava Bhakti are as follows. Quindi qualcuna delle qualità dello stadio di Baba Bhakti sono le seguenti. For great forbearance. The forbearance. Yes. Quindi la sopportazione. Una grande sopportazione. A complete sense of not wasting any time. Un completo senso di non dover perdere nemmeno un secondo. Detachment. Un distacco. Absence of false prestige. Assenza di falso prestigio. Hope and eagerness. Great taste for chanting the holy names of Krishna. Attachment to Krishna's qualities. Sorry, descriptions of Krishna's qualities. And affection for Krishna's holy dams. Mm-hmm. So, in the UK there used to be a television program. And the program was called Through the Keyhole. <laughs> and they would film, they would take you into the house of some famous person. <laughs> and by showing you around the house, that, would give, that was meant to give you clues as to whose home the house belonged to. A devotee at Bhava Bhakti has that feeling and that deep affection for the holy dams which are Krishna's home. It, Interestingly enough, at the stage of Bhava Bhakti, one's devotional service is now on the platform of pure goodness. In earlier stages, we're practicing devotional service in goodness. Jai Shri Shri Radha Prachasunda Ki Jai, Shri Shri Gornitai, Shri Shri Jagannapala Dev Subhadra Maharani Ki Jai. So, when this person who's at this stage is now on the transcendent, is now practicing Krishna consciousness fully on the transcendental platform. Something to bear in mind from this verse. Is what role does emotion play in our spiritual life? Where do our emotions come from? And how do we help them to become spiritual? There are many things that we do without knowing it which make our spiritual life even more difficult or more easy. Mm-hmm. 
facile o più difficile. I was studying something about psychology based upon the scriptures. Stavo studiando qualcosa di psicologia basata sulle scritture. In our scriptures they give such a deep understanding about the mind. Nelle nostre scritture danno una comprensione così profonda della mente. Krishna says man mana bhava mad bhakto. Krishna dice He says you have to engage your mind in my service. Che dobbiamo impegnare la nostra mente nel servizio and always thinking of me. Mm -hmm. So, it was very, very interesting when we started to look at this topic. For example, does anyone here have a mobile phone? <laughs> have you ever noticed that sometimes you find yourself using the mobile phone more than you ideally would like? <laughs> more than you would like. So, when I started to look at Vedic psychology, one of the things I found out is that when you first wake up and just before you go to sleep, there is an opening between your conscious and your subconscious mind. C'è un momento molto importante che ci permette il passaggio dalla, cosci dalla coscienza al subconscio. Now, we know that pure devotees are always thinking about Krishna. Uh, sapete, i puri devoti pensano sempre a Krishna. And they, when they wake up, that's their first meditation. E quando loro si svegliano, quella è la loro prima meditazione. But in our practicing stage, e ma nel loro livello di praticanti, we may be slightly different. E possiamo <laughs> One of the things I saw was that the mobile phone is used by most of us as an alarm. So when we wake up, the first thing we see is our technology. <laughs> so just think about that for a moment. If upon waking, There's an, there's an opening between the conscious and subconscious mind. And if the first thing we do is touch our mobile phones, that means we're now putting an impression, a samskar, into our subconscious mind, which will attach us to the technology. But, but there's an opportunity for our minds to be harnessed in a spiritually beneficial way. It is recommended that when we first arise, we say prayers to the spiritual master. That we make the offering of those obeisances to the spiritual master. In so many ways, the modern lifestyle is set up that without knowing it, it encourages a more material way of life. In così molti modi, eh, quindi queste azioni inconsce fatte in questi, questi momenti particolari, eh, ci permettono di avere una vita più materiale. So we want to move in a different direction. Quindi noi vogliamo muoverci in una direzione differente. So we can do an examination of our life. Possiamo esaminare la nostra vita. And the impressions that we put into our mind or heart. In line with this theme of spiritual emotion, connected to the theme, the idea of spiritual emotion, we should always remember that Krishna consciousness is an affair of the heart. In fact, life is about longing for Krishna. And that mood of vipralamba, mood of separation, 
empowers our devotional service. At this stage of Bhava Bhakti, the devotee is chanting Shuddhanam, the pure name. And we know that the name gives everything. Nama, Guna, Rupa, Lila. So we can say that the holy names of Krishna, the Hare Krishna mantra, is the soundtrack of spiritual existence. So sometimes when there's a movie out, <laughs> the, movie has a, the movie has a soundtrack. And the soundtrack tells you everything about the film. It gives you the main themes and the main ideas. In the same way, the name gives rise to everything, including the pastimes of the Lord. So again, going back to the practicality of it, what we're trying to do is build up our spiritual bank account and to avoid reducing or removing credit. There's a saying that bhakti breeds bhakti. So we're trying to build up that credit because ultimately Krishna consciousness means Krishna consciousness means the lifestyles of the spiritually rich and famous. The spiritually rich and famous. And there is no one more wealthy in devotion than Srimati Radharani. And no one more compassionate than Srimati Radharani. And it, it is her compassion that is, that is driving this Sankirtan movement in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, we should take some time to think about this very carefully. What can I do that will allow me to build my spiritual credit? It's a very, very practical thing. For some people, we can build our spiritual credit by being more attentive in our chanting. I like the analogy of the bank account. Because everyone can relate to it. <laughs> There's a saying that money is the honey in Kali Yuga. <laughs> so when you use other analogies, people will look confused. But when you talk about money, suddenly everything becomes clear. <laughs> in a sense, it really is that simple. When we look at the teachings of our philosophy and the advice that we are given, we can really think about it like this. Is what I'm doing helping to substantially build up my spiritual credit? Quello che sto facendo mi sta permettendo di incrementare i miei crediti spirituali. 
the way I spend my time, which we mentioned as one of the qualities of this Bhava Bhakti, a Bhava Bhakti, the devotee feels I cannot waste even a moment, every second I want that to be offered to my dear Lord Krishna. This Krishna consciousness is an eternal bank account. And when we think in this particular way, everything becomes much clearer. When I make offenses, I'm making serious withdrawals from my spiritual bank account. When I do not take the association of devotees, I'm actually denying myself the spiritual credit and mercy which will allow me to progress nicely. Just like in the material world, we know that what you get paid for your job depends on how many hours you work and the type of work you do. <laughs> The brain surgeon is earning more money than the postman. <laughs> In the same way, there are certain activities which are particularly potent. Five particular ones are mentioned including one of the points related to this stage of Bhava Bhakti. So we mentioned that the Bhava Bhakti has affection for Krishna's holy dams. And of the five potent forms of devotional service, one of them mentioned is called Mathura Vas. So we have been given so much opportunity to enter into the lives of the spiritually rich and famous. This is how we can see it. If we spend our time and we visit the spiritual embassies that Prabhupada calls these temples, if we visit the holy places of Krishna's pastimes, and if we approach those places but without making offenses, Dharma Parad, so both the right activity and the right mentality, we are becoming more spiritually wealthy. If we serve the orders of the spiritual master, and we do so with the proper mood, understanding that that service, if I do it properly, it will give me immense qualification. We are becoming spiritually wealthy. The craziness of this material world is that in material consciousness we are actually creating our own poverty. In material consciousness, when we spend our life in materialistic activities with a materialistic mentality, we are creating a poverty of consciousness. Srila Prabhupada was asked a question by one of his disciples. And they said to Prabhupada, 
We have read that one who comes to Krishna consciousness must have bathed in holy rivers they gave a list of all kinds of pious activities that must have been done and then they said to Prabhupada they said but Prabhupada we don't feel that we've done any of these you know, auspicious pious things in our previous lives and Prabhupada said, I am your spiritual credits. I gave you those spiritual credits. Now just take a moment to think about that. This is very, very extraordinary. Someone who's a spiritual... Actually, I'll go back. I, I got a message from a friend of mine. Last night. They, they had gone to some kind of event. And they, they told me, well, this friend, he mentioned one, one person that they met. And it was interesting for me because I never knew such a person could exist. Because we've heard of millionaires, right? Yeah. We've heard of millionaires. We've heard of millionaires before. And we've heard of billionaires before. But my friend told me that they met a trillionaire. <laughs> we can consider that the Prabhupada is a spiritual trillionaire. He, ha he has so much potency, so much power. He carries so much mercy from Krishna that he can take people who have absolutely no credit whatsoever and bring them to the most exalted stages of spiritual advancement. Please let this knowledge enter into your hearts. We, should, we can use this to empower and inspire us to use our time wisely in Krishna's service. Both in terms of quantity but in terms also of quality there are so many secrets to this transcendental life just one other point on this because we've been stressing this idea of the mentality behind our activity According to neuroscience, when you are very attentive, it creates or increases something called neuroplasticity, which means that the mind is much, the mind actually can adjust and adapt according to what we're doing. Now just take a moment to think about that. Because we hear again and again in our scriptures, in Prabhupada's teachings, about the importance of being what? Attentive. There's a science here. As Krishna says to um, Arjuna, Adhyatma Vidya Vidya Nam. I am the, of sciences, I am the supreme science of self realization. Prabhupada is offering us empowerment through his teachings. If we read and hear, what you'll get is something slightly different to what often happens in a devotee's life. 
E quello che voi c'è scritto qui, quello che ottenete, è qualcosa di diverso nella vita dei devoti. What happens, what can happen in a devotee's life is the same thing that can happen in any religious tradition, including Hinduism. In most traditions, they kill the culture. You know how to kill a culture? What you do is you get people to follow rituals and ceremonies without giving them a good explanation as to why. So first they'll follow the form but they don't understand the content. And then they'll be intelligent enough to say, why do we do this? And then when they don't get any answers, they'll assume that there's no good reason for doing this. While their elders are around and they've got no choice, they'll do the thing. <laughs> But when the elders leave, they'll get rid of it. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Yeah. So what we're saying is, it's another way of saying that Prabhupada makes this point that, um, was it philosophy? Without religion is speculation. And religion without philosophy is what? Is sentimentalism. So we need to know what to do and why to do it. We need to understand why we follow this process. We need to understand the reason behind those activities. I've watched devotees over many years. And if you ask most of them why should we be attentive, they wouldn't be able to give a clear answer. Which means that we have not attained a convincing reason why we should do it. And that lack of a, convin of a convincing reason manifests in an inattentive practice. Now it's interesting because it's the exact opposite here. When, when it's spoken about the, um, the symptoms of Bhava Bhakti, there's extraordinary taste for chanting the holy names at this stage. And Marge in the previous class mentioned Api Pramadaha, the root cause of offenses is inattentive chanting. I'm bringing it back to the same um, metaphor that we used earlier. Many of us were not pulling what we can into our spiritual bank accounts. Attentive chanting is like high value work. A child can do a painting and try to sell the painting. Someone else paints something. And let's say that their name happens to be Michelangelo. <laughs> Suddenly the painting becomes far more valuable. So we could say the same thing in terms of there's two pictures or paintings. 
but the quality of one of the paintings is vastly superior to the quality of the other. So again, when we are chanting attentively, we are receiving more spiritual credit by that quality of chanting. All of these higher stages which seem sometimes so far away, we can think of them just like the analogy of someone who wants to become wealthy. Many people in their lifetime, they will actually have millions running through their hands. But what happens is, they don't realize that the money is coming, they don't invest the money and they waste the money. When I was at university in England, they would give you a student grant. <laughs> Those were the good old days. <laughs> I had a friend at university. He got the student grant. Most people with the student grant, they were going out, buying clothes, wasting the money. Don't tell the law. But my friend, he, he put down on his application that he was living outside the home. So he got a bigger student grant than the people who were living with their parents. <laughs> so he got this big grant as if he's living outside and he just completely invested that money. This is analogous to our spiritual life. We're given so much. But we don't always have the eyes to recognize what we're being given. The devotion that is being offered by Srila Prabhupada in the movement is not just bhakti. Bhakti itself is exalted. But Naratam Das Thakur says, Golo Kere Premadana Harinam Sankirtan. Sometimes it's the way that this verse is translated. Premadana. Dan means wealth. You, conti continuing our analogy. Golokera, which means what? Goloka Vrindavan. Golokera Pramadana Harinam Sankirtan. Sometimes it's translated that the treasure of divine love in Goloka Vrindavan has manifested in the form of the congregational chanting of the holy names. So it's not just prema. It's goloka prema. Interestingly enough, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, you'll see he speaks only of four of the five rastas. And even amongst those four, what he's actually offering is the very highest rasa. So again, Prabhupada is some, as we could say that Prabhupada has given us a blank check. Our real misfortune is we just don't know what to do with the check. We don't know what to put down. Don't know where to deposit the check. And yet we're living in poverty. So this Krishna consciousness is literally meant to bring us to our senses. 
fatta per riportarci in senso. As we said, Krishna consciousness means the lifestyle of the spiritually rich and famous. Meaning Srila Prabhupada is spiritually rich and spiritually famous. He once said that this movement will go down in history as being known as the movement that saved the entire world. At its darkest hour, wow. Thank you much. Yeah? So, I'll, I'll open up for questions in a moment. But in summary, three things to consider. Number one, how we spend our time and our energy is really determining how much we're building up the credit towards these higher stages of devotion. Number two, beyond time and energy, it's also about the quality of what we do and how we avoid offenses which take away our spiritual credits or burn our spiritual credits. And number three is as we come into contact with the teachings and really try to understand why. Not, so not just hear, but inquire. So Krishna says that. Tadvili pratena priprasnena sevaya upadekshanti tegyanam gyaninas tadvadashinaha. As we inquire and get a proper understanding, we will have deep determination. And I'll leave you with one formula here. Desire, spiritual desire. Plus spiritual determination. Equals spiritual devotion. Yeah. Actually, we'll add one more thing. So spiritual desire plus spiritual determination equals spiritual devotion and material detachment. So spiritual desire, the desire spiritual, più determination spiritual, equal distacco da materiale devozione spirituale. Let us become spiritually wealthy by accepting the gifts which have been given to us by His Divine Grace, Shri A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Lanka. So maybe we'll stop there, because I would make sure I don't <laughs> go over time. I know that's what I'm 